everybody, how are we? My name is Unicorn Pandu. Welcome back to another video. And Chantal uploaded another mukbang, not super surprising. It's called Sushi and Chit Chat About Losing Friends. Which, I don't know why we're talking about this, but I guess that's her prerogative? I don't know, but I guess let's see what Chantal has to say today, shall we? You already had your chicken and vegetables. Alright, so I'm having sushi today. Oh, yep, seems completely unbothered and super happy just based off <laughs> that little clip alone. This one's gonna be a doozy, I'm already calling it. One, two, three, and diabetes. Just wanted to remind you. Welcome back to another video. Wasabi, I won't be needing that. I hate it. Oh, they gave me soy sauce, but I have a cup of light soy sauce which I don't like, so good. I bought it when I was trying to uh, be super healthy. Anyway. While eating sushi with diabetes. Mm -hmm. I like the full salt one, too bad. <laughs> All right, not that I'm tr not trying to be healthy, but you know what I mean. Okay, so this is my favorite sushi because they don't use like nori seaweed. They use like a soy wrap. It's probably not even totally sushi. Everything is fried and has hot sauce drizzled on, but you know. All right, so let's set this up and let's get to to business here. Let's talk some stuff. Let's talk some smack. No, I'm kidding. I'm not talking smack. I'm trying to be a nice human being, so I think a lot of you should try to do the same. Girl, I don't think we even need to be hearing that from you. <laughs> Come on. You have all sassily saying like, well, maybe you guys should try it too. Ma'am. <laughs> Let's do a nice human being challenge. No, I don't want to be nice. Why did I tell you? It's gonna be a... <laughs> it's gonna be an interesting one. <laughs> right? A lot of you are gonna say that because it's cool to be mean. Maybe when you're 16. But when you're uh, an adult or a grandma, there's some mean grandmas online, I'm telling you. It's, it's just cooler to be nice, okay? <laughs> I'm being mean to my cat by not giving her any, but she had her chicken and vegetables. All right, so that's all done. And I have water to drink. So, bismillah. All right. This is crispy crab and something else. This is shrimp, fried tempura shrimp with cucumber and carrot. So, I wanted to talk, something was on my mind when I think of sushi. It reminds me of the sushi place I used to go to with a really close friend of mine. It was like, we would go there pretty often. It was like an all you can eat sushi place where I'm from. They didn't have only sushi, it was like maybe $27. And they would give you a menu and you write down the items you want and it's unlimited, all you can eat. So, don't show people your fanny. She's mooning you guys. Uh, and also unfixed. You're gonna be doing that anytime soon instead of, you know, spending money on sushi? No, didn't didn't think so. So anyway, I would usually start off with like tempura shrimp, like deep fried shrimp, um, hash browns, stuff like that. Then you can order noodles, sushi, baked mussels with cheese on top. Mm, by the way, yes, I'm still injured, but the show must go on. <laughs> What's wrong with her? I'll probably keep that in, but like, what's wrong with her? Like, what happened? Why is she acting so weird? Like, I watch a lot of Chantal, right? I, I know Chantal's normal, like, eating patterns and behaviors and how she normally acts when eating, right? This is weird. This is reading a lot weirder than usual, and that's really saying something because it's Chantal, let's all be honest here. I can't put my finger on what yet, but whatever it is, it's something else. Anyways. Um, so I used to go with this really close friend. And also the blinking. The blinking is, uh, she's blinking. <laughs> That's for sure. Mine that I've known for a long time. And like, people always ask me like, do you have friends? And I realized that a lot of friends I used to hang out with before I had a YouTube or, I mean, at the beginning when I had a YouTube, I still had, still hung around with them, but my friends in Canada, I don't really talk to anymore. Maybe, if, maybe like one or two on like WhatsApp. And I realized just how isolating being on YouTube can be. Like for me in my case, being a YouTuber can be. Um, I think- Okay, what's the link between you being a YouTuber and you having a social life have anything to do with one another at all? Any given context, any like anything. I don't know, but blaming it on YouTube is a weird thing. It's YouTube's fault that you don't have any friends that you talk to, even though that's kind of a, more of a you issue than like your job. You know, but, you know, anyways. 
around the time that a couple years ago around the time that I was going through like deep addiction and just like um, being in an abusive relationship and everything I kind of started isolating like more and more and I think just grew I didn't it's not that I necessarily I'm not friends with them nothing happened we didn't fall out it's just that I just became so consumed with YouTube and I think that for them like I, I think even one friend admitted to me like it was kind of awkward for them that like because they would like see like for example I think like this one friend tried not to watch my channel because for her it was kind of awkward you know like it was like she felt like she was invading my privacy just by watching it because I wouldn't even talk about these things to my friends you know I've said that before I don't like unloading on people in my real life when I would go out with my friends I just wanted to have fun eat sushi go to a movie go to the mall talk about anything else I mean whenever I was working in an office we would always just gossip about our work or whatever you know but at one point my channel just became very dark and I talked about everything with you with like online with you guys and I didn't want to talk more about it to my friends you know I don't know it's just a totally different vibe in real life friends you know and we just grew apart like I don't know if that had a lot to do with it but I think it did have something to do with it because um and a lot of a lot of you know those people it's not like I had a ton of friends anyway I had like maybe two really good friends that I don't talk to anymore I don't know I haven't heard their side of it uh, maybe a little bit but I know for some friends for some of them it was like they were also kind of they saw how like people would you know trolls or people would like invade my real life and try to ruin it and stuff and they were kind of like afraid of that you know so is she homesick is that like the thing girl go back home you're obviously like not happy here like that's very abundantly clear especially whenever you would see her and like i don't know like a live stream or a pre-recorded video there was like a twinkle behind her eyes and like her personality came back out and she was having fun and driving around but whenever she got back here like everything just went downhill even further like she's not happy i don't know why she came back to kuwait probably just to, i don't know prove a point whatever the case might be but like girl just go back home home okay. and the blinking again i can say well if a friend is not going to want to talk to me just because i'm going through tough things and stuff like this then they're not real friends but i don't feel like i was a real friend either because i didn't do anything really much to maintain the relationships you know i get like relationship maintenance burnout thus you grow further and further apart i think it just started with the time in between connecting with them would grow further and further apart and um it can be isolating you know because like I don't have a normal life. When you're on social media and you're controversial, you don't have a normal life. Well, you chose to be controversial because it got you more money. Like, remember, like, especially back in those early videos that you deleted, like, oh my gosh, I'm a beauty influencer. Tee hee, tee hee. But then uh, that didn't work, so you decided to eat. And then whenever that decided to dry up or maybe you saw more money elsewhere in being controversial, that's when that really ramped up up until you decided one day that you were going to go to Kuwait and marry some random man that you've never met before. And now we are here. And they're totally, you know, have normal lives. Um, I don't know. I think at just some point, I really don't know. I know this looks like a lot of sushi, but I don't find sushi filling at all. I find it's like one of those foods you could just eat and eat and not get full. I don't know why. To be fair, I mean, I know I have her sped up a bit, but like if you slow down and like really let your body be able to, you know, register that you're eating something as a fast eater myself, I, I would know. Yeah, girl, of course, you're not going to be able to know if you're getting full or not because you're, you're hardly chewing it. I get full eating rice, but not when it's in sushi form. Also, with mental illness, you don't have the emotional, like the energy at all sometimes to talk to anybody. You know, so the people I do have in my life now understand that <laughs> I could not have needy friends, but relationships, friendships do need work like any relationship you have to put in and I have nothing to give right now. I don't know. Is this some sort of metaphor for uh, like her and Slaw or I don't know. Like I have nothing to offer right now. All right. Then what about between you and your man then? Or I could just be way overthinking it, but you know, nobody knows. Yeah. But we used to go to the sushi place a lot. And I miss those dinner dates. But at this point, if we got together again, it would be so... There's just so much that's happened in my life online <laughs> since then. I wouldn't even know where to start. Actually, in real life, with my friends, I'm a good listener. I don't like to even talk about myself. The person I used to go out with for sushi, I would look forward to them talking about themselves to, to get my mind off my own problems. And she had a way of storytelling. She's a writer, actually, so she has a very um, good storytelling ability. And she would talk. Sometimes we would go out and just go out for dinner and then go to a cafe and just talk. She would talk for hours. And I would never get bored of listening to her, never, because she was so interesting the way she would tell her view on something, you know? That's the difference between a good storyteller and somebody who's just boring, like, for- mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, don't say! Well, well, well! <laughs> Golly gee! <laughs> 
just gonna press play because it feels like we all know where I'm going with that. For example, if you have something that happens, oh, this guy got, uh, I don't know, something happens in the news, you know? It could be the most mundane thing, but the way she would talk about it and her give her spin on it and her insight, it made it interesting. One piece left and I feel like I've eaten nothing. I swear, I don't know, it's so weird. But I know I have, so I'm just gonna eat this, give it time. Mm. Mm. Oh, the tempura cut my the roof of my mouth. Anyway, so yeah. I think too I would isolate myself from these. I didn't want to talk about anything. There was so much drama in my life. I didn't want to talk about it with them. I think it would be awkward. I don't know. But for some reason, it just, we grew apart the more I was on YouTube. And a lot of that, part of that, like a lot of that's my fault. It's probably 50-50. Um, takes two to tango in relation. It's probably my fault. But, you know, it's 50-50, huh? Anyways. Friendships, friendships or relationships. Friendships, romantic relationships, whatever. You know? Mm-hmm. So. And I think it's because the, a lot of the things I would open up to you guys about, like the TMIs, are things I never really talked about with my real life friends. A lot of things. Some things yes, some things no. Especially how I'm deeply feeling about something. I just always found it easier to do that on camera. It's so weird. Than face to face with someone. I guess it's just like people being anonymous online and saying what they want. You know, people feel comfortable coming here calling me a fat piece of crap. They would never say that to my face. Maybe some people would, but... Yeah. Most people, excuse me, most people feel more confident when they're anonymous, you know? Anyway, I guess that's it um, for my dinner. That was really good. I haven't had sushi in a while, but I don't like the raw fish stuff. I don't like it. I, I barely, I like cooked fish, but if it's really fishy, no. So if it's raw, it's... But like, what about all of the <laughs> smokeballs that you've done with fish? And like, oh my gosh, I love fish, guys. Yeah, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so yummy and fresh. But like, yeah, I don't like cooked fish that much, though. Yeah, obviously. Fishy. I don't know. People say it's, it's supposed to be really high grade quality. It's not. It still is. I don't know. I mean, if, if in the ocean you can smell the fish, so yeah, you can. It's really raw fish is just too too intense of a flavor for me. For or the, the texture alone, the text, the mushy texture. No, nope. <laughs> no offense. Which I've never tried before, but I do want to try one day. Anyway, <laughs> um, I guess that's it, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'm gonna be. Okay, so there's the that. Um, that was really odd. I'm not sure if anything happened, but I guess we'll see at some point, I guess. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.